guys, I'm Nick. Today we're checking out another motherboard. I promised that it wouldn't be B550, but I didn't say we weren't gonna check out another motherboard in the next week, but it's true. Here's another motherboard. It's the MSI MAG B460 Tomahawk. Not to be confused with the B450 or the B550 Tomahawk, because this is an Intel budget platform. With that said, ladies and gents, you know what we do with these motherboard videos. They're not reviews, they're just overviews. So yeah, roll the intro, let's do it. That's weird, don't do that again. Ladies and gents, as usual, these motherboard videos are not reviews, they're just overviews, so you can get a look at what's in the box of the brand new board and what's physically on the board and the feature set of these motherboards. Uh, we don't like to do VRM analysis or any of that kind of stuff. We've got uh, more important things to do. There are plenty of other channels that cover that in depth and I'll link some of them down below. So if you're interested, you can check them out. But ladies and gents, we're here just to show you the board and all that good stuff. Without further ado, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna take a look. Let's do it. All right, ladies and gents, let's check out the MSI MAG B460 Tomahawk. Do not confuse this with the B450 Tomahawk. This is for Intel CPUs only. So let's do what we always do. We get the motherboard out of the box so we can take a little bit of a closer look to see what all of the things are that are in the box. First off, we've got some SATA cables or SATA cables for your 2.5 inch SSDs or your spinning rust drives. Next up, we've got some screws for the M.2 slots. This is to attach M.2 drives to this motherboard. All pretty standard stuff here. Next up, we've got this we've got this MSI Dragon sticker and you guys know everything about this sticker already because you know that it will give you 16 billion extra frames per second in Fortnite at 8k at extreme settings I know nothing about Fortnite clearly uh, there's also this uh, round plastic device that has uh, some files on it that you could uh, you can't actually access anything on this so I don't know why it's actually still in the box <laughs> uh, there's also this little uh, MSI gaming and creators pamphlet I guess this is basically just showing all of the latest MSI products for gaming and creators so laptops and all that stuff it's just like a little product pamphlet basically there's also this thank you for choosing a MSI product this product was made with great passion and we hope you could enjoy it and as usual I also hope that I could enjoy it too Next up is the quick installation guide. Now this is uh, for new builders or people who aren't quite sure how to install the CPU in the socket and a stock cooler. Now this is a pretty handy guide for first time builders only or I don't know, you might use it as well. And now this is the last thing we've got here. It's the user guide. Now this is great also for first time builders because it tells you where everything is on the motherboard. It tells you everything about the motherboard and all of the stuff in the BIOS. So keep this handy if you're a first time builder. Okay, let's unsheath the motherboard so we can take a little bit of a closer look at the MSI MAG B460 Tomahawk. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. First off, we've got the front panel audio connector. There's a 12 volt four pin RGB header, two PWM fan connectors. There's also that little LED switch that I loved so you can turn off all of the RGB. There's a three pin five volt addressable RGB header, two more PWM fan connectors. There's a TPM header or a trusted platform module header. There is some USB 2.0 headers usually used for AOOs and those kind of things and the front panel connector for all your lights and all your wires to turn on your PC. Behind that there is a Thunderbolt 3 header. You'll need an add-in card to use this and there's also a Corsair RGB header which is very nice. There's six SATA or SATA connectors for your 2.5 inch SSDs or your spinning rush drives. This one's actually pretty cool. It supports like RAID 0, RAID 1 and RAID 5 as well. There's a right angle USB 3.2 header. There's a USB type C header. And above that there is a 24 pin power connected to send all of that juice to that brand new Tomahawk board. I, I, I'm actually kind of digging this board to be honest. There's also two more PWM connectors. One's for a system fan and the other is for an AIO pump. There's another three pin five volt addressable RGB header, a 12 volt RGB header and a PWM fan connector that is typically used for the CPU fan if you're air cooling or if you're plugging fans in for the AIO as well. There's also that really chunky heatsink that will help cool that 12 plus one plus one phase VRM that we're gonna chat about a little bit later. There's two by 16 size PCIe slots. The top one is a by 16 slot and the one towards the bottom or rather in the middle of the board is a by four slot. And there's also two by one slots on the board as well. Now this board features the B460 chipset, not to be confused with AMD's B450 chipset. This is for Intel 10th gen CPUs and this is their mid tier chipset 
four 10th gen CPUs. There's also two M.2 slots. There's one towards the bottom of the motherboard and there's one towards the top of the board with a heatsink that covers it as well. The VRM layout on this board is quite interesting. It's a 12 plus one plus one phase VRM. The last plus one is usually the phase for the memory controller. And as you can see here, there is a really massive heatsink and the uh, IO cover is also part of that heatsink as well. So it will cool that uh, very interesting VRM layout. And because this board is for Intel 10th gen CPUs, it uses Intel's new LGA 1200 socket. It also has standard cooler mounting for all Intel coolers from around 2008 until the foreseeable future. There's four DDR4 RAM slots that support a total amount of memory of 128 gigs of RAM with a maximum speed of 2933. Remember, this is uh, the mid-range chipset. So yeah, the memory clocks are usually a lot lower on those chipsets. On the rear IO, we've got a PS2 port, some USB ports. There's a display port and an HDMI port. There's a USB type C port. There's one gigabit ethernet. There's 2.5 gigabit ethernet, some USB 3.2 ports. There's 7.1 digital surround sound with optical and SPDIF and an integrated IO shield. Okay, you know what time it is ladies and gents? It's be well time. Let's do it. I hope you enjoyed that first look and overview of the brand new MSI MAG B460 Tomahawk. Not to be confused with the B550 or the B450 Tomahawk. This is an Intel motherboard. It's a budget focused chipset really aimed at being the middle ground for Intel 10th gen CPUs. So stuff like probably like the i3 10300, the 10100, the 10600K, the 10400, that stuff like that in that kind of uh, mid range. Uh, ballpark, if you will. Uh, feature set, it's uh, feature set's pretty good. It's it's actually not a bad board at all. I don't hate it. The only thing that I noticed with this board, and I guess that's because it's a budget board, it's got a very thin PCB, but that's to be expected because if you wanted to grab yourself one of these boards, I think they're going for around how much was it? Clear, 169 US dollars, something like that. 169 US dollars, or around was 165, 265 Australian dollars. Something like that, yeah. So I'll put uh, links down below if you guys want to get your hands on one of these. These are out, so we can talk about them. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like the music that you heard in this video and you want to know where you can get it or what track it was at some time code that you're going to comment about, I actually make all the music and it's available over on our Patreon. I'll drop a link to that down below. Also, if you want to get early access to videos just like this video, we're also on Float Plan. And if you want to support the channel, Join button, hit subscribe, thumbs up if you hated it, thumbs down twice, notification bell, all that stuff. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peek.
we seek. And I've got a pretty cool build plan with this board. It's gonna be really, really awesome. And I think I'm gonna use it for some installation guides and stuff so you guys can actually have a look at it a little bit closer again. Don't worry, it's not gonna be the last time you see this. And for those people who stick around to the end of the video, I wanted to share some stuff with you. Uh, so you guys may or may not know, we've never got anything from ASUS before. Uh, they just don't really sample motherboards to people like us in Australia until now. ASUS has started sending us motherboards, look at that. So uh, so we, get it, we got a bunch more like Z490 videos to come and I did say there probably would be, even though there probably wouldn't be, but there, well, there would be. And that's because I knew that we would be getting this board and it's, it's okay, it's not just one board. We've got another one as well. So we're gonna be checking this one out as well. You guys have requested the absolutely living heck out of both of these boards for us to check out. And ASUS was kind enough to let us have some. So yeah, they're also sending us a bunch of other boards too. So B550 boards and some other boards that we've requested too for some builds. So we will be, you will be seeing more ASUS content on the channel from now on. Yes, I know it's unbelievable, but <laughs> it's finally happening. It's finally coming to fruition. ASUS has jumped on board the Gear Seekers bandwagon, ladies and gents. It's only taken two years. Isn't that right, Clay? Nah, we're not throwing shade. These things happen, you know? It's all business, and I'm very excited to be doing some stuff with ASUS now, so, yep, thanks for watching. <laughs>